Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Sable. My name is Jeff. You can call me Jeff. We're gonna jump back into the desert. We're in the, I believe it's the Red Sea. The area known as Red Sea. And we spent the last... Oh, yeah, the chum. Chum queen. We spent last time exploring the giant ship called the Whale. And I think our next destination will be the city of Ecria. City, station, not sure what it is. Hey, Nutmeg. Welcome. Thanks for claiming first. Good old Simoon. <clears throat> What's up there? Did I go up there before? I must have gone up there, right? This looks like a place I would have gone. Can I actually get up and over this thing? I can't. I wasted some stamina. So I don't think it'll be a problem. I mean, it looks like a place I've been, or would have gone to. There we go. See the top of the chum queen up here, holding up that tower. Probably didn't have the stamina for this last time I tried. If I tried climbing all the way up here. It's like I can just make it now. So she's not exactly floating. She's like holding on up here. Ooh. Are there any chum eggs up here, you think? <clears throat> There's a chest up here. A hundred cuts. Nice. Anyway, let's get going. Whee. So we left Samoon this way, I think. So the city of Ecria. Flip over to the map. Oh right. The Chum Lair's not in the Red Sea. We can clear that marker. I think that marker. We came and looked. Right? I think we went here. Let's see what this was. I don't remember if we did. Shoot. We'll come and visit there. I have another marker. I had this blue one. What are you? Hey, Wally! Just an interesting looking boxy shape. I wonder if that was a spaceship. No, that was here. Photographer. Ah, 
I play this on stream glass. How you doing, by the way? What was I gonna I was gonna mark the city, which is over here. I'll just say here. So let's go to the blue marker first, I guess. See, trying to figure out what's going to be closest or the straightest shot here. Let's fast travel here. Okay. And then that blue, right? Where I wanted to go first. Yeah. So, Simone. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Yeah, it is definitely an interesting art style for a video game, isn't it? Whee. They'll move. The trees. Yeah, I didn't realize that would be right in the way. I'm an excellent driver. around here. Do you remember the title or anything? Or just the art style? Most awesome driver. Whee! The bird. I don't remember whether I came here or not. Looks like not. Some chests here. Oh, a power thing. Let's see, not here. Eh. Yeah, don't you hate that? Like, I know there was this thing. Hmm. Outside, I guess. Or at least down here. Let's see, where would this go? That looks like a likely place. Hmm. Atomic priesthood trousers. If that doesn't sound like a euphemism. Let's check out these trousers. Trousers. Those are cool. Is that all this ship has to offer? I think it is. I mean, I would think there'd be chum eggs or something around here, too.
Chum Chum? No Chum Chum. Maybe up on one of those, though. Chris, I think I climbed all those getting to the cartographer over there. So I probably would have gotten whatever chum chum eggs there would have been. Let's remove this marker from the map then. I think it's already gone. Cool. Since we got here. The moon. <laughs> There's no reverse on this. All right. Our other two things were this way. I think Ecria is the yellow one. So let's go past it to the red one here. Oof. Sometimes you kind of clip through things because they're like just barely part of the landscape. Apparently all these trees are actually there. There's the city. Probably the biggest uh, living place we've seen so far. Whoa, got some air off of that dune. Come on, Samoon. You can do it. See, there's some smoke way off in the distance there. I know what that one is. Here's this. That's the red thing I marked. Cool. Well, yep. There's probably stairs somewhere. I'll just climb. <laughs> Thieving magpie well. Oh, you like heights? Hmm. Alright, I'm guessing there's some kind of quest out here later. I keep going and completing quest things before getting the quest. Let's just head to town. No, I see what that smoky thing is first. Let's go there and then over to town. This is where Quasimodo lives. The bells? Where are we? Oof. I was hoping it would say without me having to get off. Like a little camp here. Hey! I can feel the nervous energy behind his mask. Bashir. Glider, could you help me? I tell him my name's Sable and ask what he wants. My friend Micah, he's... He's so obsessed with treasure hunting or finding silly old artifacts. Every week he goes out after something new. I ask if he's ever found anything. Nothing you wouldn't get from your average scrapper and he'll go bloody anywhere. 
In caves, cliffs, wherever. No care for danger. I keep telling him, Micah, he's safe. But he doesn't care. He thinks he's invisible. Invincible. And now he's gone out to who knows where south of here and he hasn't returned. I'm so glad you've come along. You can still hover, yes? So you won't be in any danger of falling down anywhere. Is he somewhere dangerous? If it's Micah, probably. The places he sneaks off to are usually ruins. The older the better. Half crumbling and covered in dust. Tends to be places where you take one false step and really get hurt. Micah says that's where the best treasure's at. Please, Glider, if you see him, tell him Bashir is looking for him. I'll tell Bashir I'll keep an eye out for his friend and wish him well as I depart. Sometimes a well is just a well. See? Told you it was a quest item, probably. Merchant Habit. Habat. Glider! I wish I was still on my gliding. Being a grown-up is terrible. <laughs> I would like to trade with you. I will ignore everything you said. Tell me about this camp. Yeah, we're just nomads passing through. The five bells is for those of us trying to avoid the hustle and bustle of Ekri over there. Just too many people. Too much going on. I prefer to keep company with the crickets. See ya. See ya. But you got the trade. All right, here's my stuff. Sand surfer. Clothes. Neat. Layered shorts that flap satisfyingly when surfing down a sand dune at high speeds. They work well at keeping grains of sand out. Clothing particularly suited, well suited for sliding down large sand dunes. Cool. See ya. Nothing to say. Got a bucket. Let's see if we have any messages. Probably not. Logging in. Hello, Sable. Unread messages. Zero. Have a good day. Hello. You talk? You don't talk. So this is the five bells, I think they called it. So there's somebody in the well. Is what was his name? Timmy? I already forget where that well went. Micah. Sometimes a well is just a well. Just as well. It was this way. So they think somebody's down this well. Give me a second. Figure this out real quick. Shout out button's broken. I'll just do it. Fine, I'll do it myself. All right, so there's a great big ladder over there. Ladders are no fun. I'd rather jump. Jump and glide. So, do we just jump all the way to the bottom and come up one level at a time, or do we go one level at a time down, you think? There's ladders coming all the way up. Good. 
You look like a room over there. Hey, chum egg. us down one more level. It's a bit more complete of a floor here. Hey, stairs. You know I love stairs. Especially those circular ones. Micah! Oh, Micah! Hey, can I catch you? Roll it up. Oh, you're over here ish. Can't do it while I'm jumping. Shaded leaf butterfly. Alright, so we've got a whole circle. Um, there were stairs over here. Let's check under the stairs. Nothing. Hmm. Nothing on this level, huh? Next level down. It's over there. Whee! Make sure I'm not missing anything in the corner. There's a door. That's locked. It doesn't look like it opens. There's another butterfly over there. But I catch you though. Let's see, is there an opening in that room going up? Am I supposed to drop in from above or climb up from below? There haven't been many keys in this game. Maybe I just don't go in there? Oops! Can I have you? seem to be able to grab it. Out of the way. I can't climb up over that. Let's go this way. See if there's a way into that room from over here, maybe. Not really looking like it. Not sure what I do with these butterflies. Hopefully somebody wants them. Ooh. There is a chum egg nearby. The controller's shaking.
It's either up or down a level. Right around here. Hello, chum. <clears throat> huh. Another area there to try and get into. Another butterfly. See what's up these stairs. Let's see. Feels like I've been on this level. There's just down to go here. Hello. Might you be Micah? Oh, looks like your leg is hurt. Please, help! Micah's voice is ragged, and he has the look of someone who's spent just slightly too long down a well. A little sandy and tattered. I'm here to rescue you! I tell Micah that I'm here to save him and that my name is Sable. Sable, thank you. Thank you so much. How did you know I was here? Inform Micah that Bashir sent me. Oh, no. Why is that bad? I was so stupid with him. I just arrogant, rude. He's always telling me to be more careful, not to go off hunting alone. I'm always so silly with him. It's so pointless, but I always feel like I have to prove something. Like, the more he tells me to be careful, the less I want to. But it's for no reason. I'm just being difficult for the sake of it. Eh. I do that sometimes, too. I reassure Michael that, Micah, that I've often felt a little pressured to prove something. Even when the pressure was coming from me. I know, but you're... You're a glider. You're young. I should know better. I tell Micah that we can't dwell on this right now and ask if he can walk. No, not enough to make my way out of here, at least. That's why I dragged myself over here, thinking I might use the crane. But I can't access the controls. I wonder aloud if I could access the controls. And Micah digs around in his pockets until he finds what he's looking for. A key. He holds it up. I found this key. It should let you in. From there, you can use the crane. I nod. I'm sorry I can't help more. I feel so useless. Thank you, Sable. You're really very kind. I tell him it's no matter, and that if he isn't useless, that he isn't useless, and then I take the key and go. All right, let's look around for... I, I know he's in pain over there. Let's look around for, like, chums and stuff over down here. Maybe collect some more butterflies, since they're just everywhere. Also, water! Can I catch these dragonflies? Yeah! Step well, dragonfly. It's a long way up. Oh, it's nighttime, too. Here, dragonfly. And I look like some, somewhere I could go under. We could. We can. Secret? Ooh. Ecrine Guard Top. Worn by the guards of Ecria, provides protection against physical attacks whilst remaining 
Retaining mobility. Anything behind the chest? Yeah. All right. Anywhere else I can go behind? Any more secrets? Not so much there. as well. A little lower, please. A little lower, please. There we go. Almost look like there's something behind that slab. A room. Alright, so are we going up this way, Micah? Where I'm supposed to go? And then there's stairs. Now, are we going all the way or are we going to where that door was? I would think the crane controls would be all the way up. But there was that locked door and we have a key now. There's that room though. It's up another one. <clears throat> Here, it was right here. Can I get in now? Yes. Hey. Cool. That was a cool sound. Alright, well, that's part way up. Can you use a ladder from here? Micah bounces a little. Sable, yes! Whatever you did there, it seems to be working. Keep at it! Alright, we'll go this way. To the ladder. from here. Stairs. All the way on the other side. Um. Should I have looked closer? Should there have been any other kind of goodies in that room? Like I didn't check for a scrap or anything while I was in there. I just hit the switch and ran back out. I guess it's not that big a room. Still. Now I know for sure. I didn't miss anything. Let's go this way to the stairs this time. 
Okay. Ladder all the way over there. Um, can I jump it? Jump and glide. The ladder. Maybe. Catch it. Yes. It's daylight again. This looks like a control room. Receiving magpie. Well, I guess that's better than thieving magpie poorly. I should speak to Micah. How you doing, Michael? Micah? Sable? Yes? How can I ever thank you? Go home and apologize to Bashir? Tell Micah he needs to go home and apologize to Bashir for all the worry he's caused. Oh, I will, I will. I'll be apologizing to Bashir for days. He deserves it. And I'll try not to worry him ever again. But I do want to at least give you something. Climbing badge, yay. And I take it gratefully. I'm gonna go back to Five Bells Camp. Should be fine. Walking is a little easier than climbing right now. You're my savior, Sable. If you ever decide to become a climber, you've got my endorsement. Take care, all right? I tell him I will. And we say a fond goodbye. Yay. Quest done. Let's see, if I hadn't gone to Five Bells Camp, probably wouldn't have had all the backstory about Bashir and everything, and it wouldn't have been as interesting of a quest. I'm glad I went there instead of just exploring. Um, back to camp, which is on here still? It's not going to be on here anymore. Go to the map. Where were they? Do, 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 do. They were somewhere west of the city. I don't know. I'll see their smoke. I think it's like here. There's the smoke right there. Yum. Here we are again at five bells. Oh, there was some kind of interesting tower way out that way. Bashir looks ready to hug me. Thank you so much. I don't know what you said to him, but he said he's given up solo climbs unless they're very safe. I tell Bashir I didn't say much to dissuade Micah. A bit of slippery moss did the work for me. He laughs and thanks me again. I'm really happy to have him home. Thank you. I wish Bashir and Micah the best and go on my way. The best. 
Can't thank you enough for your help there. Alright. Alright, over somewhere this way, there's a reddish tower lit up. Oh, look at those pipes. There. Is that the whale? No, that's the wrong direction. Oh, that's probably like this, right? Follow those cables. Let's go to Ecria. That seemed like the next likely place to go story-wise anyway. <clears throat> Let's just see what's up here. What is up, everybody? My name is Sable. You can call me Sable. I'll just park you here. What's in here? Guards? Hey. Okay. There's somebody in this one. There's boxes, they must want us to climb it, right? Come on. All right. Let's see what's down this way. Keeping an eye out for chums and stuff. All kinds of people. Hello. Sirai Nomad Yuki. Oh no, what am I going to do? They've lost power in town. The merchants have started hiking their prices and now I can't afford my tea. Are you working on your treadmill over here? <laughs> you anything? Nope. Okay. Uh, chickens? Losing lots of feathers. Oops. I didn't mean to climb on your counters. Sorry. Wanted to see if he. Hey, there we go. Merchant Josh. The whole of Ecria is on edge. Not good for business, I tell you. Even my regulars aren't coming now. Uh, what's going on? There's been a bit of a ruckus around the power supply into town. There ain't none. Rumors of all sorts going around. Maybe it was the merchants in the market. Maybe it was an outsider. I'm sure the townies would love to blame us, Sarai. Luckily, outsider business for fruit is still going. A bit slower, but Sarah, I don't have too much. Have to worry too much about power out here. Goodbye. Hey. Hello. Hello. You, Glider. My name is Maz. I have a problem, and I wonder if you could help me. Is a voice like burnished steel? Despite the softness, he tries to inject into his entreaty. The tone of a man more used to orders than requests. I gesture for him to continue. I can at least hear him out. It's my son! He sighs. <sighs> He's been held by the Akrian guard. They caught him tampering with the water supply. Puts up a hand to reassure me before I can speak any doubt. He was only trying to tap the supply, not taint it. He aimed to bring us a better source of water, one that would benefit us immensely. That sounds like a crime. By Ecrian law, this is illegal. Yes, but 
If we followed Ekrian law, we would all die of thirst waiting on some functionary to make the slightest effort. He sighs and crosses his arms, taking a step back. It's hard to tell if he is already defeated or just trying to tamp down some rising hope. I won't work to convince you. If it sounds like too much, I understand, but someone needs to stand against this. And for several reasons, it cannot be me. Not this time. Can you help? I'll help. I'm not sure what I expect, but the solemn nod I receive catches me off guard. He steps closer to me and places a hand on my shoulder. There is something else. Something you must know, and that I hope will not break the bond we've made. Have you ever heard tell of the Shade of Ecria? No. What's that? The Shade of Ecria. A hero of the people, and a bane to those who would subjugate them. Dark as the night itself, smooth as black silk, and fueled by the flames of vengeance. A legend in this wretched city. You could say brings justice. Though to ask the guard, or those who line their pockets, the shade is a menace and a smuggler. Ask what he thinks. I think it was a man doing his best to right the wrongs of the powerful. But I might be biased. I am the Shade of Ecria. I barely have time to look impressed before he adds, And for today, so are you. What? When I retired, I hid the mask of the Shade. But even though the Shade was gone, the rumors, the legend, persisted. A glider could not convince the guards to free my son, but the Shade? Oh, at the mere sight of him, they are liable to give you whatever you want. Maz points at the markings on a nearby wall. You see this? Head to the town gate and look for this symbol. It will lead you to the mask. Collect the mask and return to me. Then we stage the rescue. Farewell, glider. Okay, so there's a symbol on the wall nearby. Which wall where, sir? Sir, Mr. Shade? Um, that mark? Over there? Hey, Gary. Gary is a climber in Ecria. He smells awful and his mask is about to fall off. <laughs> Goodbye. Is this the symbol? Looks like a moon. So I think it's either... Well, I guess that looks kind of like a moon also. So kind of a moon symbol near the gates, he said. Don't retrieve the mask. I want to head to the town gate and look for a marker to lead me to the mask of the shade. Okay. Town gates would be. It's not gonna tell me. Go and retrieve the mask. Uh huh. Good talk to you. Bike merchant Avid. Need something fast, reliable, both, neither. We've got all sorts of bike parts just for you, glider. Uh, what's going on? Power in town is down. Pays to have a quick ride out of here right now. Lots of folks are looking to head out if things don't get back to normal soon. Take care. Okay. So the gates of town, are they up there? Hello. Hi. Ekron Finn. This is a disaster. No power means no filtered water. The Oasis water isn't clean enough to drink on its own. Okay. So there's the symbol. Um. Hello. It's a mask. Oh. Got seen. There's that symbol again back there. Uh oh. Ah! The guard towers over me. 
I can't tell if I've somehow committed some kind of transgression as he looks me over. He seems to be contemplating a decision of some sort and mutters something unintelligible under his breath. Uh, somewhere between a timid h hello and you planning to stare all day? Responds sharply. Detective Inspector Guard Sandu. He pauses for a moment, looking around the square a moment, before refocusing on me. Let's make good use of you. Me? I ask him how. Well, you're a glider. By your very nature, an outsider. You belong to nothing and to no one. And therefore, you are capable of an uncommon objectivity. I wonder if I should share my myriad of popular unpopular or deeply subjective opinions, but decide to spare him. He seems to have much more to say. My name is Cindy. I'm in the middle of a very serious investigation. There are few I can trust. You may have noticed that we find ourselves without power, yes? I did notice that. It's no accident. Someone stole the power core from out of the atomic heart. And the perpetrator eludes me still. I thought perhaps you might be able to help me solve this crime and bring the thief to justice. Hello. Uh -oh. I've already begun to picture myself darting in and out of the shadows, tracking the elusive power thief through the city. In my mind, I am swiftness and smoke, a creature of cunning and dexterity. And Sandeep hands me a rusted heap. A broken atomic heart power core? This is an old power core. Scrap, really. But if you can bring this to the machinist for me, he can fix it and we can get this town going again. But, while you're there, I want you to ask if he has any idea who might want to steal something like this. And why. I'd ask myself, but... People are less forthcoming with guards? You get it. I see I've made the right choice. Report back when you've taken care of this, yes? I'll be waiting. I say goodbye to Sandy. All right, so we've got the shade mask to find. We've got to go talk to the machinist. Who did this? Have you found out who it was yet? Are we under attack? Ah. Everyone, please remain calm. We are doing all we can to repower, restore power to Ekria. You have to do something. The power's been off for days now. When will we get drinking water back? Useless. Completely useless. How did we end up at a position where almost everything we rely on comes to a complete halt? Alright. Uh, or is that? The, that's not the symbol, is it? Whoop. Um surreptitiously climb this wall here. You saw nothing. Ding, ding, ding. All right, well, where'd that other shade symbol go. I'm pretty sure it's the moon looking one that I'm supposed to be following. Hello. It's like an eye or something. All right. So wasn't the symbol over here? There it is. Up this way. And then that way? Yeah, there's one on the ceiling there. And... Huh. Then where? Keep an eye out. Way down on the end there. Hello? Doctor looks concerned and frustrated. Have you lost your TARDIS, sir? This power cut, all of our medical equipment, prosthetic alignment, artificial wombs, it's all going to run out of power very soon if the energy doesn't come back. 
Those useless guards and machinists. Okay. Alright. Pick up the mask this way, I guess. Up here? Hello, chum. Ba -da -da -da. How many do we need for the queen? Uh, putting a queendom. 20. And I have four. So it'll be a bit. Okay, so the symbol led us up here. Where to next? Birds. Is it out there? Somewhere? There's a chum up there. So it led us up here. Is there also something this way then? Maybe. I'm not sure where it's trying to lead us from here. For the moon. Is there a door below? Yeah, maybe. Though they didn't look like the kind that would open. Yeah, she just wants to climb it. I was thinking maybe out in the wilderness, past this wall. I was going to look at the cliff face over here. Or these pillars. Let's try down this way. Oh, this is water. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Lorp. Um. Yeah, there's a chum in there. This tunnel over here. What do you want to bet it's in here? Probably no one else comes down this way. Hey, chum. That makes five. All right. Looks like not quite here. a heart on the wall over here. <laughs> Can I get out? Over here? I don't know. Let's look for the moon out this way, though, too. Also, we know there was a chum up there. So if the mask isn't out this way, we at least know there's something worthwhile out here. Climb it. Up and up and up and up.
Hmm. I'm not going to be able to climb that. Not right now. Hmm. That looks like the part of the atomic power supply there. <clears throat> I had a guess. We'll get up to that chum. Somehow. Right here. Hi, chum. Shoot. Ah, oh, there's another chum out that way. I'm trying to keep an eye out for a moon symbol, but so far no luck. there lots of chums I bet if I did these platforms it's like there's something up top there like between the horns right there maybe up there then we'll come back down to get yet another chum away out there maybe I just be some of those bird looking things all right let's go back up there Try these platforms out. Alright, remember to hydrate. Here. <clears throat> and jump over to there. Hop. And over to here. There's something up top there. That looks like a mask, right? Like nobody from town could just see it up here. <laughs> oh, it's an oasis flower, not a mask. Okay. Yes, that's a good thing. Chum. get this chum. Shoot, I thought it was going to be the mask. Right, so let's go check out that stuff behind us.
another chum up there. Might be able to go back to the chum queen sooner than I thought. Anything good in here? Scrap or anything? And chum. Let's head back toward town now. Let's see if we can't find another moon to follow. Oh, this looks like a machinist. Hello. Hamza is the machinist in Akria. He's busy tidying up the workshop. It looks like someone has ransacked the place. What can I do for you, Glider? What happened here? Hazma explains that this happened a few nights ago. He's got no idea who did it. Could this be related to the power going out? He seems more resigned than concerned about having his workshop ransacked, and indicates that he doesn't know who or why someone would do such a thing. I'm not sure I am convinced by his ignorance, but I let it go. Anything else I can help you with? Um, I have some questions about the power cut. What do I want to ask? Um, any idea why someone might have taken the core? He crosses his arms and looks down, thinking on it. Power is the lifeblood of everything we do as machinists. And our work exists to uplift the past and secure the future. Power supports the machines, and machines are bound to the people. I nod, listening. If you want to take power from people, then you wish to make people powerless. He looks sad at this. So I think you'll be looking for someone who cares little for the common person. Um... Who do you think did it? If I had to say, he touches a hand to his chin. Iria, the merchant. I tell him I'm listening, and he shuffles his feet, getting closer to me. His voice lowers to a rumble. Iria and her ilk run this town. The markets are their locus of control, and they've got their claws in the food stocks. Now imagine, if you will, what happens when the power goes down. All of a sudden, folks are stockpiling food, and Iria and her lot are hiking up the prices. There's not a damn thing any of the rest of us can do. You should look into Iria. You'll find her weaving her web of corruption from above the beetle market across the bridge. You'll have to persuade her guard to let you pass, though. New suspect. I had Iria, the merchant, to my list of suspects. What do I want to ask? I think I'm going to say I'm done here. And say, I have a delivery for you. Hamza smirks, but his expression is warm. They've got you running errands, eh? I like to keep busy. Oh, I can relate to that. If I don't keep working, eventually I'm going to have to think about some of the things knocking around in this little old brain of mine. This odd little brain of mine. And nobody needs that, least of all me. I'll drop this thing off with Sandeep when it's good and ready. Anything else I can help you with? Uh, goodbye. Uh, may I offer you a bucket in these trying times? Catch! Hmm... More buckets. Ah, there's the beetle symbol. Um, 
Back this way, I think it was, is where the moon is going to be. Or where it was. Huh. Those faces. Chicken, 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 chicken. You the doctor? You the doctor. Alright, so the moon symbol was up here. From here, maybe I wasn't supposed to climb all the way up there. Wait, is it in this box? <laughs> no. Round circle symbol. See, I guess I didn't look at whatever this thing is either. Doesn't look like there's anything on that crown. Wait. There's like some cuts or something right here. Okay. And. That looks like a. Um, why do I always forget their names? One of the chums. Alright, here's that heart. <laughs> Alright. Where's this mask? Where was that moon up top trying to take us? Glass blower. I make the best glass this side of Sea Split. Well, normally I do, at least. The power cut has put my workshop completely out of commission. I need my furnace to work. It's not like casting little pots in sand. I've got a terrible backlog of orders already. Bike parts, ships, pots, architecture, you name it. Hmm. Hello? You seem stuck. Jetty. Power being cut off means a lot of businesses have stopped completely. Some market traders seem to have been able to take advantage of the situation, and deliveries have been busier than ever. Uria and her kind always seem to know how to squeeze blood from a stone, but this feels like things have worked out too well for them. Maybe don't tell anyone I said that. Alright, all that hard suspicion on Uria... Makes me wonder. Hello? Oh, hi. This is Rita, the owner of the Overhang Cafe. I have some questions about the power cut. I don't think I'm even of uh, much help to your investigation. Any idea why someone might have taken the core? Maybe when the power went out, who do you think did it? Any idea? Whatever the reason, it's been terrible for business. I could ask more questions. Where were you when the power went out? Same place I am every day. You're in the cafe. Who do you think did it? There's people coming and going every day in this town. Could be anyone. Okay, I'm done here. Alright, walk a lighter. Probably check back in with Sandeep to see if the new power core is ready. Hello. Any idea? Where were you the night of the power going missing? Mm -hmm. Still trying to find that mask, though. Mask. Wait, is that? No. Alright, so so far we've been able to pretty much see this moon, a broken moon symbol, from wherever it led us to. So I'd think we'd be able to see it from here, like up up there. Maybe. Let's see if I get up here. Does that look like something I could climb, maybe? Across the rooftops, maybe. Hmm. 
Let's try climbing it. It's like this side is just a little bit higher than the middle. Let's climb. Wait, can I rest here? Hey, no, get back on. Just stand on the ledge for a second. And a half. Cool. There's a chum on that pillar on the other side of the bell. Let's aim for that chum now. See if there's anything else interesting we can see from up here. Just stand on you for a second there, chum. Da -da -da -da. All right, I think that's ten. Yeah. All right. Hey, the moon. Is that the moon symbol right there? one of the other symbols. It's the not broken one. All right. Can I talk to you again for a second, Mr. Shade, Mr. Hey. The camera goes weird. I'll wait here for you to get the mask. It'll take a bit of a swim, but you seem capable. It is in the water, okay. Uh, the gates are this All right, and we should go try talking to that um, market boss, Iriana or whatever. Oh, hey. Also, how you doing? Some deep rocks from the balls of his feet to the heels and back. Pleased. Good news! Hamza's finished his work on the spare power core. I could use your help with it if you've got a moment. I can help. Perfect. I'd like you to take the new core to the atomic heart and plug it in. And while you're out there, see if you can't pick up on any clues about who may have stolen the original. Yes? Uh, you came to the right glider. Clues? What sort of clues? Oh, I love a mystery. Clues? What sort of clues? What sort of clues? Well, you know, something out of place. Ask how he does it as a guard. You like tapestry, yes? I nod. Have you ever looked at a big beautiful ornate tapestry and been so impressed with its craftsmanship and then just suddenly found your eyes drawn to a tiny little snag just one thing out of place clues are like that i make heart key card hamza left a key card for you you'll need it to unlock the front door the central chamber is protected by a security code but i'm sure you'll find your own way in a thief managed somehow to get to the atomic heart Head over to the substation just outside of town and follow the power cable that runs through and under the sands. Oh, 
see you soon. Hopefully with news. Say goodbye to Sandy. Goodbye. All right, let's try and find with the bridge and the beetle market. And let's just go places we haven't been yet in town. We haven't explored everywhere yet. Hello, who are you? Any cuts to spare? Anything would be appreciated, Glider. Um, yeah, a 50. Um, sure, have 10 more. Door's not gonna open. This looks like a beetle market thing. Hello? Get a. Okay. Toop toop. Oh, there's some kind of... What are you? Just casually... Da, 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 da. <laughs> Oof. trouble merchant citra so do you make a habit of trying to get yourself eaten um what was that ask what it was that nearly killed me just now well it's a worm isn't it this girl is nausea and she's bloody strong you shouldn't get that close unless you've had the proper training or else you've got food handy Maybe you should cage her up. But you're a glider, aren't you? So I suppose I can forgive a bit of clumsy worm handling. My name's Citra. I tell her I'm Sable, and she offers a quick compliment to my name, which almost soothes the embarrassment burning through my ears. After that, she's all business. Now what brought you here, glider? Can I help with something? I get the sense that if Citra were an animal herself, her fur might have bristled at my question. It triggers a memory where Jadi told me that it can sometimes be a labor in itself to explain how one needs help, and that I ought to try to see where I can be useful before I inquire. But I think I've made enough of an introduction already. Do I need help? Citra gives it a moment's thought. You know what? Yes. Nazi loves a Hakoan glowworm as a treat. If we could find her some, we'd both appreciate it. I tell her I think I can do that and decide it better not to ask for further details. I'm sure I can find something. Say goodbye to Citra. Nazi's nibbles. <laughs> Up, uh... Hi. You look like a guard. I hear the guard murmuring about pomegranates to himself as I approach. When you notice me, he climbs up and stands to attention. Can I help you? Uh, I need to speak to Iria. Iria is a very important person. If I'm going to let a bothersome glider interrupt her day, it had better be worth my while. Uh, offer 150 credits. Guard's eyes light up and I immediately regret offering so much. Yes, that'll do nicely. At the big spender achievement in Steam. Move along, glider. I wonder if I could have just gotten a pomegranate from somewhere. Hello? You're small. Wow. Hi. 
Okay. If Iria is surprised, happy or displeased to see me, it's hard to tell. The guard by her side tenses up as I approach, but Iria signals to them and they relax. My presence is permitted. For now. So you got past Yanis. Was it a pomegranate or just good old fashioned cuts? It doesn't really matter, I suppose. Well, you're here now. Yes. Some questions about the power cut. How do I get myself merchant's badges? Um, how do I get myself merchant's badges? Aria seems completely disinterested in my question. Not even sure she heard me. I go to ask again when she lets out a big sigh. How do you think? What do merchants do? Don't answer that. You can buy them from me. Yes. Um, I have some questions about the power cut. You have five minutes and then I want you gone. Any idea why someone might have taken the core? There is a deeply irritated sigh at the beginning of her speech and it comes like the hiss of a viper. Two reasons I can imagine. One, because they've something to gain from bringing the town to its knees. Now a sharp, annoyed inhale. Two, because power cores fetch a substantial price in illegal markets. Could be one of those, could be both. Don't know. Could ask more questions. Uh, where were you when the power went out? She wouldn't have taken it just herself. Feel her eyes narrow on me, and imagine the drag of her tongue along her upper teeth. She dislikes me very much. I will ignore the implications of that question, friend. But I was here in the market. Ask around if you'd like. Any of my guards will vouch for me. I could ask more questions. Uh, who do you think did it? It'll be some lowlife from the Sari. Sarai? Probably that climber fellow. Garay. They say he's, you know, one to... One to speak to when a job needs doing. Though he's not exactly what I'd call discreet. Fellow like that, he won't be the brains behind it, but if I were a scummy little nobody, he'd be the person I'd hire to get the work done. I'm told you can find him under the bridge outside the town gate. Okay. Add Garay to my list of suspects. Could ask more questions. Uh, I think I'm done here. Yes. I could buy a merchant's badge. Very well. 100 cuts. And I could just buy three of them and be done. <laughs> sure. Anything else? Uh, goodbye. You talk. Nope. Bye bye. Anything I could take? Why not? Can I talk to you? So little. Um. Ari is mad at you. And I hope you. Is that something about pomegranates? The guard seems to perk up at the mention of the word. Yes, have you tried one? They sell them in the Sarai outside of town. They're unbelievable. Magical. Each seed a burst of watery coolness. He continues to espouse his clear obsession with the fruit, and I notice my own mouth salivating a little. Uh, just passing by. What's in here? Anything? Nope. Alright, so we actually got a hint. About... Did we go up here yet? Where is this? Oh, yeah. That's where we came from, actually. You have a bunch of money to that person, and they didn't say thank you or nothing. Oh. Okay. Um, the engineer machinist, sorry, was down that way. Alright, so 
the moon symbol led us up here. And he did say it would be a swim. So into the water with us. That's the question though, is, is it straight down this way? Where we found the, um, we found the chum. Like under here, maybe? Or is it way out across? I don't know. I would think if it was down here, there'd be another moon symbol. I don't know. Let's swim under here. That deck is hurting my eyes a bit. IT machinist? It could be. Didn't seem all that bothered by the mess someone made of his workstation, so. Nope, this looks like a dead end. I don't think it's down here. I'm guessing it's out across the water somewhere. Here? Maybe? Let me see if there was a symbol out here. No? And... No, that's not the moon. Broken moon. Let's see where this goes. But I don't think it's right. Hey, wait. Look at the, look at the boat. Sneaky. Maybe it is in here. Oh, it's a long swim. My arms are getting tired. Hey, okay. moon there. Probably not. Is that a chum? Can't tell. I think it's chum. Mostly buried in the water. Or is it just like a bubble? Oh, it was like a chest. Guard trousers. Let's turn the camera around. So wing. And so up here, back on the trail of the mask of the shade of Ecria, or whatever, whatever he called himself. Nobody calls you that. No, they do. Okay. Moon. <clears throat> hmm. Such a scavenger hunt, huh? Maybe up here. Is that it? On the ground up here? No. Alright, so it said here. Is it up more? Could I even climb this? I don't know if I could. Maybe from... Oh, camera. 
If I start from up here, maybe. I don't know, it's awfully high. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're getting sandy. Okay, now you're getting wet. But now you're getting sandy. Again. Almost there. Stay on target. Oh. Okay, it's not up here. Okay, I did the swim part. If I go back and talk to him again, he might give me the next clue. Let's just see. It was right here. So if I climbed up to here, looking around for a moon. Moon river. Oh, shadows. Moon shadows on the trail. I'm not seeing any circular patterns of the moon. The actual moon. Um. So now that I did the swim and climbed up here, maybe I go talk to him again. Okay, what's the next step, sir, mister? The driver on your trail. River. Yes. <laughs> Moon River. Up on. Wider than a s smile. I don't know the words to that one. <laughs> Autocrupt is getting you. Huh. I wonder if that was locked before. Not like I can't just climb over. I don't want to go talk to the shade, the shadow knows. Um, oh, there's a chest right there. Um, shadow, sir. You people look poor. You don't mind if I take your stuff, do you? A bit of a swim, but you seem capable. All right, no new clues, I guess. Gary Guns, he Grunts, hello? I have some questions about the power code. He scratches himself and spits on the ground. <laughs> before giving me a shrug. Any idea why someone might have taken the core? Gary smells. It is not the worst or most pungent smell. Not rot or bile or anything so pointedly awful. No, Gary's smell is like... Old dust, tinged with stale oil and ground into the fabric of old garments, or buried under fingernails. It clings to him, and I turn away just a little as he answers me. Heard about a big sale going down in the Serai recently. Not sure what, but it caused a... a stir, let's say. Whatever it is, it's long gone by now. He shrugs. And so I press him a little further, asking if he had any idea who the seller was. As far as I heard, it was some machinist with a mushroom habit. Not sure how true that is, but let's say it's come up a few times. Could this machinist be Umza? I add him to my list of suspects. Now we have three suspects. I could ask more questions. Um, where were you when the power went out? Cafe. Cross my arms, mostly out of impatience. But it seems to work on Gary somehow. All right, I've got a, I got on a little scrap. Is that what you want to hear? Nothing to do with anything and probably not your business, but sure. Had a fight, power went out, broke it up. I keep my arms crossed. End of story. I got nothing else. 
could ask more questions. Who do you think did it? He stares at me for a few seconds, and I mistake it for consideration before I realize he's looking at me like I'm stupid. I don't name names. And even if I did, it's me who did this. But more power to him, I say. Ah, you're funny. There's a pause, and then he laughs loudly. You get it. More power to him. I get it. He chuckles and waves me off. I could ask more questions. I'm done here. Um. Yeah, swim. Okay, fine. I'm stuck. Go up again. Hmm. <clears throat> Look at the power little crackles. Okay. So once more, I mean, I guess we could go up to the atomic thing. We should go try talking to the machinist again, I think. See what they have to say about the mushroom habit thing. Let's see this way. There's a moon. And we went up there. Down into the water. Up. Which led us across this way. Can I walk on this? <laughs> Good. We get in? I think I keep hitting my head on that. Tall person problems. Alright. The moon led us up to here. It's the horns, yeah. It just wasn't so horned. Where do we think the moon is? Continue on down here? No, that wait, that's where we came in. Right, because we came through that pipe to the moon symbol down there. Brought us up. <laughs> Alright, the machinist is right here. Let's talk to them. Heard you like mushrooms. Hamza says hello, what can I do for you, Glider? Any questions about the power cut. Um, I didn't notice anything was wrong. Machinist. Not one of us, no matter how different we may seem, would ever be caught dead without a backup generator. So I had a few hours good rest before I caught wise. I nod, accepting his answer. What do I want to ask? Um, so it didn't have anything to do with the mushrooms here. I wanted to say goodbye. All right, so the moon took us up there. Let's go up here again and look around one more time. And is it this side now? And this is water we could have gotten to before. Sort of an alleyway right here. Anything in there? No. Hello! Hmm. And for a sneaky moon symbol. Um, what 
about down here? Not this way, a little ways. Uh, not seeing anything. So, last week we did the, um, we did the whale, that big ship, and I mean, it was a big area to explore, but at least you kind of knew what you were supposed to do because there were, all the puzzle pieces were right in front of you. This one involves people. I don't like it. <laughs> Let's just see what's straight across. Well, if it was just on a rooftop, it seems like that would be too easy. It's the beetle market thing. Can I climb this? Stop. Well, I guess there was the sewer this way. Because I came out where? I came through there. The moon symbol was there. Maybe I go this way? I guess that's true. We found the guard uniform and turned around. Maybe it is this way. Good question, Nutmeg. Let's find out. Still all bubbly right here where that chest was. You're right, of course you're right. <laughs> Let this be a lesson to you, everybody. Never question your wife. <laughs> right, this is the other side of that chum. All right, but then what? We go up here? Do we climb up the other wall with the moon on it? up here. See where this goes. Oh, hello. Don't mind me, just swimming. Hey, the glass blower. Hmm. Okay. So, moon there, and what, up there maybe, up here maybe, in the cafe, I don't remember seeing a moon in there, do you? What a fishbowl, tip jar. Um, why don't I check out the kitchen? We'll climb up this wall over here. Um, here. I thought that was going to be it. I looked like a little pot chest thing. Uh, it's a locked door. 
Sometimes they, he hit it really sneaky, like on the edge of that boat. Why'd you have to be so sneaky, man? Some kind of chest up there. How do I get up there? Around this way? Right there. 20 cuts. Hmm. Any moons? Hi. Okay. We're not talking. Where were you the night the power went out? Alright, so the moon led us where again? It's this way. Right there. So up there, I guess, next? Or is it up here? Anything good? I don't see any chests or anything. Nothing that way. Let's go up here. Whoop. Oh, well, we've been up here before. The moon was on the wall down there, right? There was nowhere else to swim to. This is where we came out of. Is it just in here somewhere? The bubble seemed like it was moving, but only when it was a ways off. I'm mashing the interact key. Let's climb out of here, I guess. All right, we did come out here. This is where the glass blower was. Um, seems like we did all the swimming we should do. Let's see, what's the quickest way back out of here? Straight out this way. <clears throat> Let's go try talking to the guy again, see if there's a new clue. Hi, is this the courier? I quite like it when the power is off. There's a sense of peacefulness to it. Inside the boat. That Meg. Gary. Uh, mm. Also be hilarious if we were following the wrong symbol all along. Yeah, it's not the moon you're supposed to be following. All right. Um Actually, let's take Samoon over to the water, yeah?
the soft voice, like a Tyrannosaurus in the night. Roar! Yeah. Rift's Moon works on water. Be back for you later, Samoon. <laughs> Actually, the boat's like the other side, isn't it? Might be faster to go the other way around. Um, yes, <laughs> Samoon said. I can't even hit the button. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a submarine now. <laughs> that was cool, though. It's out and shakes off. <laughs> Let's go to the other side of town. Or at least maybe around the water. And then, of course, there's the whole follow the power cord, power cable all the way out to where the new heart goes. There's five bells way out there. And if I park her right here. All right, so the boat's right there. There's a moon on there, too. So were we supposed to swim out to here? I bet that's, I bet we were supposed to find it. Then see it on the boat as we came out of this, uh... Oh, come on. Yeah, nothing in the boat, nutmeg. But... There was one, something... On that rock. Right there. So I bet we were going backwards when we went through the water tunnels. So if we come up here, then where? And then keep going out that way. I feel like we got on most of these islands, though. Joe, what's happening? There it is. There's another moon. I'm that You're nerd. You're that nerd. Yes. Beat you to it. My name is Jeff. My name is Jeff. Thank you for the hydrate and the posture check. Oh, I didn't need that posture check. So, there's a moon up there. I mean, it's hidden like in here. Get through, maybe? Down, it's like under here, isn't it? Huh? Maybe? Middle of all this? No. Maybe not. Or, or, hello. It's all over the place. Got it. Bang, zoom, straight to the moon. 
The Shade of Ecria Mask. The Mask of the Shade of Ecria. When I wear it, I feel transformed into something closer to a spirit. I don't feel human anymore. Let's see it. Uh, mask. A shade of Ecria. So do I just... I, I don't think I want to just put it on. <laughs> Yet. I might get arrested. I did say to come back after I found the mask, right? Let's go talk to him and then see how how long it takes to get to the uh I wanted to say Arctic core, but that's not right. The um atomic core. Oh Simone. I like how if you're close enough, she actually comes from where you left her. <laughs> wow, self-driving cars these days are amazing. All right. Go back to the front gates. Be this way. Might be able to just ride some moon straight up. Remember the guy said his son was in was arrested, but that's him over in the cells over there. Whee! This will work. Like a glove. Ah. Simoon has some questions for you. Some deep says hello. What can I do for you, Sable? This is not the person I wanted to talk to. Hi. I wanted to talk to the person down here. <laughs> Still, that was fun. Hello, I have your mask. Show Maz his old mask. He barely reacts, but then gently takes it from me and holds it up so that he and his younger self are nose to nose. He chuckles. I can see why they feared me. It's beautiful. He hands it back quicker than he took it, stopping a daydream before it starts. When you wear the mask of the shade, there is no greater ally than darkness and dread. Wait until nightfall, then proceed to the guard station. Be as quiet as you can and evade their eyes until the moment you must strike. Then, when the time is right, he hisses this last bit, dripping with venom. Show them the shade. I shiver. <laughs> it's creepy. Put the shade mask on and let me know when you're ready to do this. Farewell, glider. Okay, together, Maz and I formed a plan to free the boy. I should speak to Maz when I'm ready to go ahead with the plan. All right, I'm not ready yet. I'm going to go right out to the power thing. So, um... Simu? Oops. Guess I should look where I'm going. <laughs> I kind of feel like Thor waiting for his hammer in the uh, Sanctum Sanctorum. <laughs> Crash. Bang. Ooh. <laughs> Hi, Samoon. <laughs> okay, we're following the power cables. Actually interested if there's anything I can do with these. Not really. Doesn't look like it. Whoop, got a turn. All right. 
right. And then this way. Those are some giant power cables, aren't they? that Just some plants maybe nobody cut that well no they said somebody stole the atomic core okay this way yeah this way That's probably it way out there, right? The left. Whoops, a daisy. Zoom. Bonk. buff out. Oh! Hello, you. Let's drove right over you. Power chum. I wonder if there were any more along the power cable that I missed. This way. Another chum up top there. Probably almost about time to start walking anyway. That looks like the entrance down there. I'm going to go this way. The Atomic Heart. Hmm. Right, we got a pass key from the guard. Is his name Sandeep? Let's see what's down this way. Okay. Atomic Heart. And you know what? I think we'll actually leave this for the next episode. We'll start right here, trying to get into the heart. Um, let's see. Yeah, my shout out er is still broken. Let's do a shout out. Ned. Shapes. And let's see who's playing right now. So I think we'll do a raid of Soccerman. Soccerman is playing plate up. Looks like he's doing modded food, so he's getting to do things like sushi and that. 
um, stick around for the raid. It uh, helps things out. Uh, where are you, soccer man? There you are. And, um, you know, do a visit, order some food. Go ahead and mess with him. Tell him Jeff said it's okay. Um, I'll be back on Wednesday with Factorio. We're getting back into that after last week's channelversary. Um, Factorio, and then we'll be back with Shenanigans on Sunday. And, of course, check out YouTube, which uh, the link just posted a little bit ago in chat there. It's also going to be in the description, or it's linked on my profile. But, um... You know, to catch up on past episodes, or I'm making recordings that I'm posting there that I'm not streaming here on Twitch. So if you're interested, come check it out. In the meantime, remember to be kind, have fun, and I'll see you later. Bye!